We met in Benazet here. We had Raleigh Kogan, the president and CEO of Keystone Oak Country Alliance with us. We basically just headed up here into um, north of Dense Run, up into some of the herbaceous openings that we have up here. Found a cow elk. We did kind of cheat on that. We had a, a VHF radio collar on her already. Her collar needed to be replaced anyway. So back in the early 60s and 70s, when uh, the elk population really dropped really low into the 20s, this was the last area that those animals held on in the dense run Bear Hollow area. So this morning, the three of us worked together to dart the animal. Jeremy did the darting, and Eric and I you know, monitored, made sure the dart went in and that, that it uh, discharged the drug. One, two, three. The drug we use is really potent. It's, a, it's called carfentanil. Typically, the animal goes down in about five minutes, and it's got some typical signs that we look for as it starts to go down. It starts to slow down, uh, its head starts to rise back, and its rear limbs start to, to drop a little bit, and that lets us know that the drug's on board and starting to work. And then the animal goes down. We give it a few minutes just to make sure the drug's set in and it's safe to approach, and then we approach the animal. And once we do, we get the animal on its chest, and that's preferred position just for these animals that have rumen. Beyond that, we just start to monitor the animal, make sure everything's going the way we hope it will. That's really where, where I come in. My role after Jeremy darted the animal was to treat the dart entry site um, and monitor the animal, make sure there aren't any side effects and that all the normal bodily functions uh, are still within an acceptable range. And it allows Jeremy and Eric to work efficiently so that in the end we can get the animal up as soon as possible. And that's really the goal, is to do what we have to do, but get the animal up safely and as quickly as possible. The collar is fairly new technology with these video camera collars. They're made by Low Tech Wireless. The collar was purchased for us by the Keystone Elk Country Alliance. They are the ones that run the visitor center in Benazette. Um, they're a nonprofit organization. The point was to see if that, that added video component gives us any more knowledge into forage species, specific species, or um, interspecies interaction, or you know some interaction with that cow and a calf, or, or anything that, you know, to some degree, it's, it's something that might spur additional questions. It's the first collar that we know of, anyway, that's been put on an elk, the first video camera collar. They've had them on grizzly bears, they've had them on polar bears, and they have put them on mule deer in Washington State, but to our knowledge, this is the first time it's been on elk. So the collar is, it has kind of two different components to it. One is the GPS part that has its own battery. The video camera ha also has its own battery and that's good for about 60 to 65 days is what it's estimated at. The camera itself will come on at the top of every hour during daylight hours and it will record for 30 seconds, audio and video, it's color, color video. And then um, the GPS portion is also taking fixes every 15 minutes. So on top of that, that uh, video camera portion, we're going to get the, the location where that animal is at while the, the video is being recorded. So she was originally collared in 2004, and then we, we just replaced that collar here today. So she was an adult when she was collared, so we, sh we know she's at least 14 years old. She's probably 15 or 16 years old, somewhere in that range. The, the video portion, the video camera portion of the collar, we can't get that data until that collar falls off. The collar has to fall off, we'll go pick it up, and then we'll, we'll send it back to the manufacturer and get that data that way. The GPS data, however, we can download it remotely. Um, so we've got uh, a special handheld command unit, and we can send out a signal, it wakes the collar up, we download all that GPS data remotely, and, and you can pull it right up onto a map and see where that animal's been. Well, we